Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and uh, in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to model a perfect hole without having to use the Boolean tool. Okay, so let's just just jump straight in, I suppose. Okay, so I'm going to start with a plane, and uh, let's turn our lines on so we can see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to choose the point tool. Uh, I'm also going to make our plane editable, and then I'm going to select one of our points using the select tool. And then all I'm going to do is right click and go to the bevel tool and bevel this out. Make sure it doesn't go over the edges of, uh, uh, you know, intersect with, with stuff. So Make sure it's inside your selection, something like that. And then I'm going to up the subdivisions of the bevel, uh, something like five, that should do us. And then I'm going to grab the depth and bring it all the way down to minus 100. And oh, look at that. We've got a perfect circle there. So now if I select all the uh, inner points, I can get rid of them. Delete, we've got a perfect hole. UL for loop selection and uh, select boundary loop will let us select that. Let's convert this to edges. So now I've got those selected and then in the move tool, I'm just gonna grab control and drag up. And you can see that we can extrude that out and then I can close the polygon hole. And if I wanted to, I could put a bevel on the top there. That's the reverse now, but I'm gonna drop this down to two and then put all this all the way up to a hundred. And I can do the same thing on the uh, loop around this at the bottom as well. So let's bevel that. There we go. So as you can see, let's uh, take a look at that without the lines on. So if I press NB, uh, what was it? NA? Yeah. Um, you can see we've got this perfect shape coming out of our um, plane now. Uh, something else to note as well. You can also do it on an edge as well. So if I go to the point tool, select the point, Again, same story, bevel, it'll do this. And uh, we'll just whack this up to five, all the way back down. So same kind of story. And again, I can select all these points in the middle and uh, just get rid of them. And uh, go to my edge tool, select all these points, unselect this one here. Oops, sugar. And then uh, I can drag this up and uh, let's go to our bridge tool and just bridge these. And then I can go to uh, close polygon hole. And uh, again, I can bevel. Let's get the bevel again. And again, just bring that down a bit so it's not so crazy. And select that as well. Ooh. Come on. There we go. And bevel that as well. So as you can see, brilliant. Very easy. Okay, but what if I um, uh, say I'm modeling to take, uh, say I'm modeling something that's going to be going in a game engine. This is very wasteful. All of these polys here. Um, you know, there's tons of them. So what if I wanted to do exactly the same thing, but um, without having all these subdivisions? Well, that's easy as well. So let's just move this out of the way for the time being. Let's just shift that up there and create another plane. Okay, so let's drop our segments down to one and one. So what I do in this case is let's make this editable. Let's, um, let's select this poly right click and uh, extrude inner. So I'm gonna extrude all the way down to something like that. And this is where our, um, our hole is gonna be. So let's choose where we want it. So now you can see that we can have our hole anywhere, but with the benefit of not having a shit ton of polys all over the shop that are completely unnecessary. And this is great, like I said, if you're taking it into a game engine or something like that. So let's say we wanted our hole here. Okay, so. What I'd do is, let's go back to our select tool by hitting space, select our point tool. I'm gonna to connect these points here. So select them, right click, 
uh, connect points and edges. And then I want to connect these two points, but I also want to make a sort of cut there as well. So let's go to our line cut. I'm going to cut, um, click on this point, and then I'm going to click on this point. And then I'm just going to go back to my select tool. So now we have a point that's in the middle of this thing. And it's the same story again. So right click, bevel, Ooh. not go too mad. So bevel out to where we want our cuts. I'm going to take the subdivisions up to five and then bring the depth all the way down. Oh, it looks like we've actually gone beyond the bounds of uh, our, our thing there. Let me go back. Oh, there we go. So if you already had those settings, you can actually see where the circle is going to come out. And uh, yeah, again, it's the same old story. So if I uh, grab all this stuff in the middle and delete it out, what's that? Uh, we've got a rogue point. UL, I'm going to select boundary loop and do it with edges. And uh, let's go to our move tool and control drag this up. Beautiful. And then we can cap our thing, close polygon hole. Um, and we can also bevel that. Bevel. Okay, and we can do that at the bottom as well. UL uh, and take off boundary loop. There we go. We should be able to select that now. And again, we'll go to our bevel tool and just bevel that out. And now we have exactly the same thing. I mean, if we go to our other view again, so let's take that off and go NA. You can see that these two here look identical, but without all the polys in the world, like this one. Uh, it's very much optimized. Um, also, something to note, if you are going to take this into a game engine, um, it's probably best that you you want to keep it quads because it gets triangulated when it goes to the game engine anyway. Um, and you also want to make sure that um, everything terminates properly. So you can see all these are quads. You can see that this isn't a quad. So what you'd probably want to do is... Um, me personally, I'd go into point mode and I'd select this and this and close uh, connect points and edges. And as you can see, you, this is a quad. So there's one side, two, three, four. And then you could do the same here. Um, connect points and edges. So that's a quad as well. <clears throat> but here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, which isn't good. So probably what I'd do is I would connect, um, I would probably want to connect this, for argument's sake, I'm going to connect this edge to this edge. Um, so grab them, right click and connect points and edges. So now it's divided in the middle. And then that way you can um, take these two points and connect them. So now you've got a quad here. You've also got a quad here. One, two, three, four, and a quad there as well. So it's all quads. So you'd probably want to go around and do that. Okay. Um, so that's it for this quick tip. It's just uh, how you can uh, make a hole, even extrude and all that kind of stuff. Uh, remember, um, to visit uh, digitalmeat.uk. Um, and also on that point, uh, if we go just pop over to digitalmeat.uk now and go to the tutorials page, uh, we've got a few votes in for the next tutorial I'm going to do at the current stage. Inverse ambient occlusion is winning for the next tutorial. Like I said, these quick tips won't be included in that. Um, also, I've posted up the uh, next batch of Cineversity NAB talks. Uh, so we've got batch two here. So there's a there's a couple of um, videos there that you can go look at. Um, but like I'm saying, like I was, I was just saying, the uh, the voting, go and vote for the next tutorial out of these options. Uh, we've got let's see, three, four, five, six at the moment, which is pretty pathetic. And I know you guys can do better than that. So uh, um, yeah, come in and vote. All right, cheers, guys. Um, cheers for listening. Bye. <laughs>